Yet another crisis is looming in the Horn of Africa. It's already the scene of fighting in Somalia, age-old violence and rifts, clan battles, warlords, Islamists sweeping into the region, and of course of late Al-Qaeda. And now, once again, it appears as though two of the coastal nations, Eritrea and Djibouti, are on the verge of war. Our reporter in the region tells us that the two are eyeing a possible confrontation over a border dispute that's run on for many years. There have already been clashes in recent months. Skirmishes have led to casualties, but now both sides are talking up the possibility of an all-out fight. While the international community is trying to persuade both sides not to get involved in any military confrontation, it's clear that the West will support Djibouti if there is any battle with Eritrea. The Eritrean regime is described by many countries as being oppressive, dictatorial, with many reports of people being forced to serve in its army. In fact, its army is one of the largest in the world, even though it's only a small country. The level of support in the international community for Djibouti can be seen in the military presence there of both France and the United States. There are around 3,000 French troops in Djibouti and more than 1,000 from the United States. The American troops are not only involved in training local forces, but a variety of activities throughout the Horn of Africa, including of late targeting what they believe are Al-Qaeda operatives in the region. For its part, Eritrea is involved in a variety of military operations, most notably with another of its neighbours, Ethiopia, and skirmishes continue between them to this day. At the same time, the Ethiopians are fighting in Somalia alongside the Western-backed government there, whilst the Eritreans are supporting the Islamist rebels in Somalia.